well friends in this video i am going to tell you the difference between homologous structures that means the divergent evolution convergent evolution and parallel evolution so what are these three things divergent convergent and parallel uh, so for basics uh, for for easy understanding i must draw the simple terms is that first one is a divergent evolution as the term divergent it means uh, from a point things diverges so this this is a single point and things are diverged so this is uh, the simplest drawing of a divergent thing so what do we mean by divergent evolution uh, the evolution will occur from a common ancestor so we have a common ancestor from that common ancestor different individuals different organisms and different species will be originated right so all of those species if we take the species if we compare with them uh, different organisms not only species actually different organisms o1 o2 o3 for example if we take them if we look at their morphological structures their physiological features we'll see remarkable similarities between all of them in certain features because all of them are originated from a single common ancestor and the example for that is the hand structure right uh, for human beings so if you look at our hand at the diagram here for human hand uh, the skeletal structure of the hand you see for human this is the skeletal structure this is for the horse this is for the well in well it is not a hand it, it works as a flipper in bat this is uh, the the, uh, the part to to fly i mean we know about it and the bird again wing to fly so all of them have this specific structures but if you look at the structures very carefully you will see that the regions called carpal humerus metacarpal radius ulna and all the structures you will find in all of these individuals these bones are present maybe the bone size is a little bit varied the shape is a little bit varied it could be thinner in birds but stronger in whales uh, i mean fattier in whales so and uh, in, in, in bats it's very very thin so you see though they are thinner they have different slight changes in morphology but the number of the bones and how they are present to have a feature is always uh, here kept same so that's why we call those or uh, those different organs this this hand as a homologous structure there are plenty of examples of homologous structures out there homologous structures means the origin of the structures is same homo means the same logos means the origin so the similar origin for their structure because they have the same common ancestor who also have this these different bones so that's why as they produced as they are originated from this common ancestor they also have these remarkable similarities between these bone structures in hand okay so this is the example of divergent evolution that means from one ancestor multiple individuals originated just like a radial spoke or uh, radial evolution kind okay now let's move on to the next class next uh, so this is example we already talked about it next type is a parallel evolution you know what is parallel evolution parallel as the term suggests parallel means if i draw the same thing with arrows it will look something like this that means a parallel evolution means obviously it should occur in a two different species at a time because it will never interact with itself right so two related species that evolve similar specializations to the same sort of habitat but independently that is called the parallel evolution and it should evolve independently because if in any aspect of the evolution if they in they are uh, very similar with their structure or in function if they are involved with themselves they either collide in a point or they come out from a point but here in this case none of this thing happen they are related species they also are present in the same kind of habitat and they also want to have a same type of structure same type of structure morphological or physiological but they are evolved differently independently completely differently but as they want the same type of features uh, they get same type of structures that is the example of parallel evolution and if you see here is uh, the example of of uh, myosin myosene lito uh, litoptern and here equus equus is you know modern horse as we know about it this is the structure of bones in leg of the modern horse well this is for the thoatherium uh, the earlier time or earlier type of horse so 
if you look at both of them they originated from a time i mean they are not uh, same species they are of a different species right obviously different sorry different species so whenever you talk about parallel evolution you must know we are talking about different species not the same species but they are related in nature because all of let's say in both of them uh, they are four legged both of them they want uh, they are uh, uh, vegetarian in nature and they also uh, run fast and all this stuff those those materials are the same so for understanding for their habit and uh, food habit or all these different habits they have to get this specific type of leg structure leg bone structure and that's why though they evolved separately over the time in the related environment in the same environment for a same cause in mind they originated same type of physiological structures and that is an example of parallel evolution right originate from a point and spread it through that okay so this one is for the parallel type and third kind are the convergent evolution we saw the we saw the divergent and parallel divergent means from a point diverging parallel without any involvement with them and now the convergent convergent means they are merging towards the point so obviously again as things coming in to a single point from different origin so obviously they have different species definitely because uh, they are coming from different uh, regions so it's coming to a single point now obviously they are not coming to produce a single common ancestor so many students make a wrong understanding in this point because they think that divergent convergent is the opposite of divergent but it's not true because divergent means there is a common ancestor from that common ancestor individuals slowly start to originate and they originate in different species different organisms but uh, the convergent means there are separate species now why we are talking about converging that means coming to a point that means the point is not an individual the point is to achieve a specific goal to achieve a specific structure to achieve a specific feature right for example if you see dinogorgon and thylacosmilus and smilodon these are the three different types of individual uh, of organisms and all of them originate to have the saber tooth structure saber tooth structure all of them see if you look at the tooth structure you will see the teeth here the tooth structure saber teeth that means it is a kind of bented teeth and it will come out slightly from the face so this is the structure is common for all these three individuals all these three organisms but they are completely separate species but they are called converging their evolution is converging why because they tend to produce to go through the evolution process so that they produce this saber tooth so that they have this specific type of tooth structure probably they have same food habits that's why they designed to have this specific type of structure but see in this case dinogorgon is in south america right this is from argentina and this is from north america so they are completely different they are in different regions of the planet right but as they share a common food habit they should have a specific type of saber tooth structure to have that saber tooth tr structure they evolve accordingly and through that evolution process they produces this the specific type of structures that is called convergent evolution so convergent evolution works to achieve a specific physiological structure or morphological feature okay so these are in a sense about the convergent evolution divergent evolution and parallel evolution hope you like this video if you like the video and it clear your concept definitely like this video hit the like button share this video with your friends as well as subscribe to my channel to get more and more updates like this thank you